Hey, it's Deacon Andrew here at St. Andrews. Uh, glad to be with you all today. Our scripture for today comes from the Gospel of Luke, the 22nd chapter, verses 1 through 6. Let's hear a word from God today. Now the festival of unleavened bread, which is called the Passover, was near. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to put Jesus to death, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and the officers of the temple police about how they might betray him to them. They were greatly pleased and agreed to give him money. So he consented and began to look for an opportunity to betray him to them when no crowd was present. Word of life, word of God, thanks be to God. Jesus and Judas were probably friends. I think it's safe to say that. Judas had been with Jesus as one of his close, faithful disciples since the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. And the gospel tells us that. Just as Jesus called Peter and Andrew and James and John to be his disciples, Jesus had called Judas as well. Throughout the years, people have offered many different theories as to why Judas betrayed Jesus. But Luke's gospel makes it clear that his betrayal was the work of Satan, the power and influence of evil that infects the human heart and clouds the mind. One of the most amazing things to me is that even knowing what was about to take place, Jesus includes Judas in their Passover meal together at that Last Supper. He probably washed Judas's feet along with the others. He gave Judas the same bread and the same wine at that table. He gave him the same blessing and the same commandment to all of the disciples to love one another as he had given to all of his disciples who were there. Hard to imagine, but gives us something to ponder. Please pray with me. God of compassion, your son Jesus was betrayed, denied, and abandoned by those who were his closest disciples and friends. And yet Jesus speaks words of forgiveness even as he's being crucified. It's hard for us to fully comprehend this kind of forgiveness. Sometimes we experience betrayal in our own lives, and it hurts, especially when it is done by someone close to us. And sometimes we betray and hurt those that we love. Help us to look to the example of Jesus, to see beneath the hurtful behaviors and words, and to practice forgiveness. We pray for our relationships with others. Where there has been injury, bring healing. Where there is division, bring reconciliation. Restore all that has been distorted and broken by the power of evil. It is by the example and in the name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. And now receive a blessing for your day. Beloved child of God, may God bless you and encourage you. May God equip you and guide you to shine the light of Christ in the world as you go out today and every day in faith. May God bless you.